Okay. Show me. Hi there guys, welcome to the Dutch Sushi channel. Thank you very much for tuning in for a second video on this, the Gap RC MX3 Sparrow. Yeah, it's a very nice quadcopter, uh, especially to look at with its nice aluminium top structure and all. Yeah, um, I've had it for what, a month and a half or so. Very nice quadcopter, Roncam Micro FV camera. Cool. Okay, so I was not completely happy with its performance. No, it doesn't perform badly at all, but I wanted to have a little more punch, right? Especially now that I also have uh, this guy over here, the AGLRC 145 size quadcopter. And yes, this is my own uh, quadcopter. I gave one of these away. And uh, now I've got my own. And this one is, uh, yeah, it's a little faster. Definitely. So, I want this Kip RC quadcopter to also be nice and fast. <laughs> and we're gonna do that in two ways. You can already see that I've got other propellers on the quadcopter by now. The stock propellers are 3 inch, of course, and they were 3042. Uh, the blue ones it came with and these are Gemfan flash propellers yes the famous flash propellers and these are of course uh, 3052 so we've gone up in pitch that should help but that uh, also requires a bit more uh, power from the battery of course so I've got a couple of uh, these guys these are Hyperion High Voltage LiPos 4S 75C 900 milliamp. Now you might think 900 milliamp that's a bit uh, much, uh, milliamp hours of course. That is a bit much, yes, but these Hyperion G7 Graphene High Voltage LiPos are lighter for the same milliamp hours than conventional LiPos. And if I could afford to, I'd run all my quadcopters on these G7 LiPos. Yeah, they are a bit more expensive, but well, they last longer and they provide more power as well. So that's the theory, better LiPos and uh, propellers with a higher pitch. Let's do some flying and see if that uh, actually works. Here we go.
this upgrade project. Well, in case you didn't notice it, I enjoyed myself tremendously with this quadcopter and this lipo and these propellers. It was a blast flying. And is it now more powerful than this setup? Yeah, um, Jim Finn, huh? They are making a comeback, kinda. Uh, it's almost like every new propeller they release uh, is, a, is a hit. Right? Am I wrong? A year ago, you bought doll props, cyclones and such, and you knew they would perform right now. Huh, Jam fan. Um, yeah, very nice propellers. They do eat uh, more amps, obviously, than the stock propellers on the Cap RC Sparrow. So, yeah, you do need a good LiPo, and a good LiPo, these definitely are the G7s. Again, if I could afford it, I'd only fly G7s from Hyperion. Awesome LiPos. Uh, yes, and um, you are right, if I'd use the pro these propellers on the AGLRC and this LiPo, uh, maybe a slightly bigger one, a, a 1000, maybe? I'd have this quadcopter be very powerful as well, obviously. Okay, but uh, well, this is uh, definitely one of my favorite quadcopters at the moment, together with my 5 inch Cap RC uh, AX5 Airbus self built quadcopter. Awesome! The only thing I kinda miss is an HD camera. I will try and uh, remedy that problem in the near future. I'm waiting on a, on a small HD camera for this quadcopter and this one as well. But uh, yeah, awesome. Propellers, great. Again, uh, another win for the Gemfan Flash propellers. And uh, again, uh, awesome uh, lipos, these uh, Hyperion G7s. Um, yes, they are a bit pricey, but well, sometimes quality just has its price, I guess. Okay, um, if you have uh, questions, suggestions, whatever. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, it, the quadcopter might not have seemed very fast. That's just the camera angle I run the quadcopter uh, at. I'm not a racer, right? I'm an uh, acro flyer, so. Okie dokie. Catch you in the next video. Bye bye.